have the same two natures in his Old Testament appearance. No, uh, that human nature was only assumed at the incarnation, uh, which will be in the New Testament. Uh, we call the appearances where Jesus might have been involved as Christophanies. Christophany is not incarnation. It's just appearance as man. Or a theophany is just God appearing as visible, but not necessarily incarnated. Incarnated is becoming man, not just appearing as man. It happened at the incarnation. So there is no pre-existence of the human nature. Uh, Hill, Cardiel, CREC, where will you classify the modern day Iglesia de Cristo? Well, denying the divinity of Christ, uh, they can belong to uh, a combination of Ebionism, Arianism, and uh, other heresies that developed during the or after the patristic period. But the fact that they claim to be the last, uh, to have the last messenger, they are duly qualified as a cult. Uh, Dennis Valenciano of CBCD. Dealing with Christianity, how do we deal with Mark 13, 32? Well, we will be dealing with that in due course. Again, I explained that from the incarnation to the ascension, Jesus was in the state of humiliation, which means that he concealed his divine powers so that his miracles are not works of divine powers, but works according to Acts chapter 10 by the power of the Holy Spirit. Because in everything, he subordinated himself. So even when, he, when it comes to knowledge, he could say, uh, no one knows. At the time that he was speaking, that he was still in the state of humiliation, you must take him seriously that uh, no one knows. No man but even in the way he explained it, he shows the superiority of the Son of Man because he says, no man, no angel, not even the Son of Man. So even the Son of Man is of higher category than angels. But he doesn't know is the reality of his condition at the time because of the state of humiliation. But more of that when we come to... Sir, uh, Jesus most often uh, referred as uh, eternally begotten. Uh, so is that uh, how, how can we expound that Pastor? Etern Jesus is uh, eternally begotten well the relationship between the father and the son as we will see is expressed in the theological formulation of eternal generation they are always father and son there was not a time that Jesus only became son at a certain point from eternity past they are father and son Whereas between uh, God and the Holy Spirit, the theological language is eternal procession. Uh, so we keep the distinction because the relationship is, uh, while equal among the persons of the Godhead, the relationship is different. The Father is the Father, not the Son. The Son is the Son, not the Father or the Holy Spirit, etc. So the, it, uh, the, the, the Son... The only as being only begotten is the language of the eternal generation between father and son. Uh, uh, Pastor, just a clarification for the Nestorianism. Uh, uh, the rightful term is, or the rightful uh, uh, term for Jesus Christ is, or for Mary is Theotokos or Christotokos? Christotokos is what Nestorius adopted against the orthodox position that Mary was Theotokos. Now, unfortunately, later on in the Middle Ages, the Theotokos will develop into the title for Mary as mother of God. But the idea of the orthodox church in the first five centuries in the patristic period was to concentrate on the nature of the one in her womb. But later, the Catholic church would transfer the concentration on Mary as mother of God, and that is the unfortunate development. Other questions? Let's take a break. <laughs> 